welcome to uh, Association of American Physicians and Surgeons. We were founded in 1943 because some physicians thought that the AMA wasn't doing its job, which is even more true now, except that they're also on the wrong side now, in our opinion. Mm -hmm. And I think that probably the PPACA or Obamacare would not have passed without their endorsement. We feel they no longer represent physicians or patients. They represent their business interests and big government and from their, their CPT coding monopoly. A, we, a lot of people complained that the congressman didn't read the bill, but they didn't really have to read very much of it to know that it basically outlaws true insurance. If you get to page 10, you can see that the president's promise that if you liked your insurance, you could keep it was a lie, except in the very restricted sense you might be able to keep it if it met the criteria for being grandfathered for a few years, or unless you got a waiver from the um, Queen Sibelius at HHS. So we'd like to thank uh, Congressman Blackburn for introducing a bill that has my very favorite word in it, repeal. That's it. <laughs> Repealing <laughs> Title I, which is the part that outlaws insurance and forces everybody into a health plan, which is basically prepayment for whatever the government thinks you must have, may have, are allowed to get whether or not these particular mandated benefits are something you personally will ever be allowed to benefit from or whether you need them or want them. So I think that we are very much in favor of that, uh, of her proposal. Notice that the, the whole affordable is a joke. You cannot make something affordable by making it more expensive. Guaranteed issue, community rating, mandates and increase, greatly increased administrative requirements cannot make anything more affordable. It makes it more expensive. The affordable part has to do with subsidies, a little redistribution of income so that some people would be paying less for their insurance and it's really worth. So we will let Congressman Blackburn go first and then we'll have Dr. Keith Smith from Oklahoma. We talk about transparency. He is really doing it. Right. And it is honesty, it is posting prices. We cannot have a free market in medicine without honest prices and honest accounting so the people can tell what's going on. So Congressman Blackburn, if you'd like to start. 